what is going on guys welcome back to the channel and i appreciate you being here today i am back with another destiny 2 video and today we have another bs leak now i say bs because until it's confirmed as legit as it sounds i ain't gonna get my hopes up i mean i got my hopes up once for a game called destiny 2 and look at it now so basically a few days back I covered a leak which supposedly showed screenshots taken from Amazon which showcased a new name and release date for the May expansion 2 DLC for Destiny 2. Now although the name hasn't been dropped yet many think it's going to be called the Gods of Mars. This leak suggested otherwise. It states it's going to be called according to this leak the Fallen Warmind and the release date for this expansion will be the 8th of May. There was also a screenshot taken from the GameStop website which basically showed the exact same thing the Fallen Warmind Destiny 2 expansion 2 will be released on May 8th. Now these do look legit problem is I could make this up they are literally that easy to fake I could do one with in a couple of minutes now although this DLC is a little under two months away leaks are expected which is the only real reason I'm bringing this to you guys I mean I'm kind of expecting leaks about now and that's what I bring you today thanks to my power my life crisis for the image now this image was leaked yesterday now what it shows is the exact same name and release date but also gives us a few more details on the DLC itself so let's check it out this was supposedly taken from GameStop 2 but has since been removed it states Destiny 2 Expansion 2, The Fallen Warmind continues your Guardian's journey with all new story missions and adventures set in a new destination, Mars. <laughs> new, I love the way to say new here. This is old people. Rasputin has mysteriously vanished and Anna Bray has returned to the last city, warning of a dark uprising on Mars, discover the conspiracy behind his disappearance, prevent the rise of a corrupted Warmind and uncover the truth behind the collapse. Explore Mars and the deep stone crypt beneath its surface. New story missions and adventures. New themed weapons, armor and gear to earn. New cooperative activities. New cooperative multiplayer arena and more. So this is what you expect to see from a leak. Now as much as I'd like to say this is legit, it just hasn't been confirmed by any official source. The thing is to me though, this looks like the previous leak has been seen by some sad virgin and it's just taken it a step further and added details to it. Yes, it could be real. But to be honest, we had so many leaks for DLCs beyond this one, you just can't be certain what's real and what isn't. It could be real, don't get me wrong, but again, it might just be the bogus ideas of someone trying to get the hype train running for this game. To me, the Destiny 2 DLC hype train is in reverse. That shit ain't moving anywhere forward. Shit's going backwards. And as much as I'd love this not to be the case, at the moment it is, Anyone who denies it doesn't really realise the kind of game Destiny 2 should be. This should be a game we are all balls deep into, but that couldn't be further from what's actually happening here. Now with this DLC leak, I am seeing many other content creators taking this as legit news. Not gonna lie, there was a time where I would have done so too. I would have brought you a video promising this, that and the other, like what we're seeing. But to me that's doing nothing but building false relationships with you guys. Much like sucking Bungie off no matter what BS they try forcing down our throats. Again, this is something I used to do. But I've learned I need to put you guys first, even if it sacrifices my relationship with Bungie. I can't go online about a game, even if it changed my life for the better. In that respect, it kind of did, but it's the support of you guys which truly changed my life. So being honest with you guys, in my opinion, it definitely comes first. This DLC, this game, Destiny 2, I want more than anything for it to eventually become the game we all originally hoped it would be. I don't want to see it fall any further, I honestly don't. But I do have a feeling it might just be too late, but let's hope I'm wrong. So we're going to move on to some legit info. Okay, so we all know of the Borealis, the PS exclusive sniper, which Xbox users probably won't see until around 2050. This weapon has the ability to change its burn type on the fly. Basically, if you hold square, its burn type changes. Most Xbox users wouldn't know this because it's a weapon that ain't on the dark side yet. But recently confirmed by Cosmo on Reddit, the same kind of system will be set in stone on the hard light, the exotic auto rifle, which is on both platforms. This at the moment you can switch its burn type, but you have to go into its inventory to do so. Cosmo replied to this reddit post, give hard light the ability to switch energy archetypes like the Borealis. Cosmo replied with, give hard light the ability to switch energy archetypes like the Borealis, sure let's do it. This change is actually a part of the exotic weapon changes we have planned in 1.2.0. We've had it in a build and already been playtesting it. We'll be showing more details on exotic weapon changes sometime after 1.1.4 launches. 
So that basically confirms it. Now this exotic change in my opinion is a step in the right direction of making other exotics actually exotic because exotics ain't exotic at the moment. They are just weapons no one really cares about. With the right changes exotic could become what they once were, what we used to see in Destiny 1. We used to look forward to getting certain exotics. There's none of that in D2. Now I have every exotic my platform offers. I did so in the first few weeks. And this is another issue in my opinion. Exotics are far too easy to get. It's great they are making big changes to exotics, but when you already have every one of them, it isn't quite the same. We still won't have anything to chase. And it's with this statement I hope that with this made DLC, we see the inclusion of many new exotics. Even if they are ones brought back from D1, I don't really care at this stage. D2 is heading backwards anyway, back towards Destiny 1 in terms of gameplay, so it may as well just allow us to obtain all of those old exotics too. But hey people, that is just my opinion. And on that note, I am worn out. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, leave a like, it really does help me out. Thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully people, I will see you on that next one. Always in the wrong, knowing where we stand, but you and I. Get it right